how's training been this week gaffer all been good yeah very very bright breezy the weather's been lovely um too nice at times for for football but um the lads have engaged really well we had a really good chat after the game on saturday and uh, the reaction from the entire group's been really really good obviously it's a well it's not a new a unique situation because it happens every season but you know we've got two games in two days it's, it's going to be quite tough on the legs of the players and and, and a hard one to manage so so how do you go about doing that do you, do you maybe rotate the squad a bit or do you just just try and get them through it over the weekend well a little bit of both i mean obviously with the only been able to use three substitutes um there's going to be lads who do play both games as simple as that the squad isn't so big so as we can completely rotate but there'll be one or two lads who definitely get a get a start that might not have had a start so far in one of the two games we've had chats individually and collectively in terms of the forwards the midfielders and the and the lads at the back um so they were they're aware of me my thoughts and my feelings going into two very different games so primarily the only thing in our head right now is the Wheelston game. It's the one that's right in front of us. Um, and the last bit of prep will, will go on shortly. And then uh, we'll, we'll think about easily come five o'clock or probably about quarter past five on Saturday afternoon. Uh, last Saturday, we saw Stuart O'Keefe forced off with injury. Can you give us an update on him? Yeah, well, he hasn't, he hasn't returned to train um, and he's, he's seen specialists. We expect definitively to know, uh, you know, to guesstimate um, the length of time he'll be out, but we won't see him for the next few weeks, I wouldn't have thought. Um, it's a choice now whether he, t he has surgery or he doesn't. It's only a, it's only going to be a small surgery if that happens. Um, but we all, again, a bit like Christian, it's something that's come out of the blue, completely innocuous, nobody's to blame for it. And he's just, someone's landed on the wrong side of him and uh, he's just opened up his knee. But we don't think it's as, it's as serious, obviously, as what Christian's was, uh, but we certainly be without him for a couple of weeks. Looking ahead to tomorrow's opponents, obviously, you know, you yourself as shots manager played Wildstone last last season and, and we got a brilliant victory at their place. So is, is it about trying to replicate that again? Yeah, I mean, well, look, we're at home. The onus is on us to, to put our game on them as much as we can. Is They're, they're a team that really like the ball um, and, the, and they play some good stuff. Um, they've started the season very well. So I expect a really good game. It's fairly local, so hopefully they'll bring a few with them um, and there'll be a great atmosphere at the EBB. But ultimately, as I've said since I come in the door, you know, we, we've got to try and make our our home basically that, the, the, the place that we can rely on ourselves and rely on the people in, at the ground to, to get us through in every game. And Eastley as well, you know, they, they're, they're one of those sides that's been tipped for the playoffs. They've not had the best start, but it's, it'll be another challenging one, obviously, going to their place. Again, a team that you faced at the end of last season, but a, a, it was a good result in the end, a comeback draw. So, mm. you know, we, we can take positives from those games. I know the squads will be a diff, bit different, but, you know, this weekend hopefully be a good one. Yeah, I think Eastley, like a lot of clubs who are, are striving at their you know, believe themselves to be at the top end of the table, or that's where their perception was before the start of the campaign. You know, like ourselves, they've made a lot of changes, and it'll take a little bit of time to get to get themselves absolutely in. You know, <clears throat> the fifth and sixth gears, but you know, we'll like I said, I'll I'll think about them a little bit more after the game against Wheelston. But it's always a tough place to go, the sil the silver link. Um, but the surface is good, so you know, we we'll, we'll look to get the ball down and play our game. Again, because it's not too far away, we'd expect a lot of the, the, the shots to come down the M3 and give us a, give us their back in, which I'm sure they will. Um, but if they're not, then it's obviously live on the TV too. So it's, it's nice for the lads to have that platform, that stage to play on. Um, and like I said, every game we, we go into, we'll try and win it. And if we can't win it, we'll try, try not to lose it. And that's the mantra that we work by.